my, 17f, boyfriends, 19m, mother offered me money if I got an abortion. Background, my boyfriend and I have been dating for about two years. I'm still in high school and my boyfriend is in college. My boyfriend's parents are very wealthy. Not billionaires, but his father makes in the millions range. They are extremely comfortable financially and are very close-knit. Though I recently told my boyfriend I was pregnant, he was the first person I told. I haven't even told my parents yet, I thought we could figure out what to do together. Earlier his mother me invited over, which I thought was really fucking weird. I went over there. My boyfriend's mother sat me down and said you're getting an abortion I couldn't tell if it was a command or a question. So I'm guessing that means my boyfriend must have told her. She started going on about how he's in college and doesn't need a baby ruining his life and how I'll be ruining his life. I told her I haven't decided anything yet and she says I'll pay you if you have an abortion she offered me $14,000 to be exact. She says I don't have to decide anything now. Now, but she advises me to make the smart decision. The whole conversation made me feel uncomfortable and it was inappropriate for her to offer that. Should I accept her offer? Too long didn't read, my boyfriend's mother wants to give me $14,000 to have an abortion. Should I accept it? Being absolutely honest if I had been in that position at 17 I would have taken the money. But you and your boyfriend need to have a conversation about what you both want and what you can handle. Yes you should accept her offer. You're 17 and a baby will absolutely derail you and your boyfriend's lives. The family dynamic will be bad, because it'll be his parents supporting the two of you and most likely the two of them calling the shots. You're 17, an abortion would be the best choice even if you had to pay for it, getting a bunch of money for it is just even more incentive. Honestly I would get pregnant and get an abortion on purpose for $14,000. Take the money and run. Go to college and experience life, despite what Reddit tells you, you have to live with your decisions not us. Get the money first though. How do I, 22F, break it off with this creepy guy, 24M? I feel silly writing this because we've only been talking for about two weeks. If it was any other situation I would just tell him we didn't have chemistry or something but this guy is seriously scaring me and I need to figure out how to end this properly. We started off just talking on the phone and he seemed nice so I went on a date with him. I got some clingy vibes from the start but thought that maybe he was just nervous slash excited. There were some red flags, he talked a lot about himself, believes he looks like a Greek god or something, he also claimed to be a genius and that he was never wrong. Told me that all his previous relationships just fizzled out but that his last ex was a psycho, I didn't press that but it concerned me. Despite this, I thought he was funny and seemed nice enough to give another shot. I assumed his self-absorption was ironic or sarcastic but I realized later it was not. We went on a second date and he came and picked me up from my house. Which is where things got seriously weird, he texted me asking for my address and when I sent it he said haha now I know where you live, which was bizarre but I brushed it off. On the date he told me that he showed all his friends, family, and co-workers pictures of me and told them all I was his dream girl, that I was his everything. Told me he pictured a whole future of us together with kids in a house. He also said that his dad thought I was sexy and wants to meet me. He would constantly interrupt me when I was speaking to tell me I was such a good girl or would make very explicit comments about my body, specific my ass and what he thinks my vagina looks like. I would be telling him about work or my friends and randomly he would start explaining in detail about how he wants to have sex with me. He said when girls say no or stop during sex it just makes me want it more, completely unprompted. Then he kept grabbing the back of my neck and trying to kiss me. He also said that consent was a concept created by feminists to be just ill-defined enough to target men who did nothing wrong. At this point I was terrified and attempted to end the date early but keep calm. I didn't argue with him about the consent or anything, I just fake laughed and nodded because I was a 
afraid it would upset him and he seemed unhinged. Since he was the one driving I was trapped, I asked him to take me home because I had work to do and he refused. I wound up getting out of it by having my friend call me and pretend there was a serious problem. Since he dropped me off he's been texting and calling me non-stop, telling me that he wants to show up at my apartment in the middle of the night, going into long details about how much he wants to touch me and be with me. It's incredibly scary and I don't know what to do. I'm afraid if I tell him I'm not interested he will retaliate or stalk me. How do I let him down and avoid this? Too long didn't read, went on two dates and he started saying very sexually explicit and obsessive things to me. He knows where I live and I need to break it off with him. How do I do it? Dash dash. Edit. Thank you all for the great advice. I wanted to post an update on the steps I made to keep myself safe, thanks to all your help. 1. I contacted him and told him I was uninterested in pursuing anything further, he was upset and launched into a lot of malicious comments. No direct threats, but just overall wishing me dead and such. I informed him that if he attempts to come to my apartment I will call the police. I also screenshotted all the comments and sent them to my friends and family as well as saved them to my hard drivers copies. 2. I went out and bought some new locks for my windows and doors along with a bat and some bear spray. Pepper spray slash mace is illegal where I live, as are guns without permits, I don't live in USA 3. I told my parents, they live, 2 hours, away but they're going to call and check on me every day for the next while until I feel safe. My dad is coming up tomorrow to install some motion activated lights outside my house to deter anyone. My dad also has a male friend who lives in the area and gave me his contact information in case of an emergency. 4. I let my neighbors and my landlord know the situation gave them a description of his car and his appearance. They said they'd look out for me. I didn't contact the police yet because I looked it up and where I live they won't do anything until he makes an attempt. I also can't get a dog as much as I wish I could. My apartment is not big enough to house a happy big baby like that and it wouldn't be fair to the doggo. But maybe in the future when I move I'll make that a priority. Thanks again to everyone for your help. Take screenshots of everything he's said thus far, file a police report and block him, like full on ghost don't even bother explaining yourself. If you have a landlord, explain your situation and they may pay to have your locks changed if you feel that's necessary. The cops would probably expect Op to tell him explicitly not to contact her anymore before doing anything. Text him that you're not interested in seeing him again. Tell him it's not up for discussion and he is not to contact you again. If he does call the police, please be careful. Consent was a concept created by feminists to be just ill-defined enough to target men who did nothing wrong. Anyone who thinks like this is a certified psycho. Block him on everything, might even be worth to try for a restraining order because he seems he may become violent. Get some extra locks and stuff on your doors and windows, or better yet stay with someone if possible, like a sibling or friend, for a few days. Block and inform anyone you live with. If he shows up tell him to leave or you call the police. Just FYI, he will show up. Consider this lesson learned, someone wants to pick you up. Give them a public location to meet. If they fuss about it, don't meet. I live alone, but I am going to add extra locks to my doors and windows this weekend. Yeah it was stupid to give me a dress, I just thought he was fine after the first date. I've 25 m been lying about my job situation to friends for the past few years. What do I do? Hi, so I, 25 m have been lying about my job situation for the past few years to friends. When I graduated, I got lucky and managed to land an internship at a law firm. Part of it had to do with my mother working in the legal field and so I always had exposure to the field, but a lot of it was just dumb luck. I worked very hard and landed a full-time job in the mail room, 
with promises for promotion. I even made it to junior paralegal by the end of the first year with a lot of hard work and sucking up. The problem is, I ended up losing interest in law and my plans for completing my grad diploma in law kind of fizzled out. Eventually my supervisors at the firm I worked at kinda realized I wasn't going to be progressing much more without a comprehensive education under my belt. Elbow grease only gets you so far when knowledge is literally the cornerstone of the field. So sadly I was laid off. I was a bit disappointed in myself and honestly a little embarrassed too. But I kept the news of being laid off to myself, and well. Over the past few years every time a friend would ask me hey so how's things going, how's work? I just say something like oh yes busy. And then if they specify the law firm, I don't correct them. I just give a vague response like oh yeah it's great, things are getting busy this time of year etc. Friends also assume I'm pretty well off when I'm pretty much around average. Even when friends who might have been in a financial situation similar to me say hey so I'm in a bit of a pinch with rent. Or hey could you shout me lunch? etc. Instead of admitting that I'm not really amazingly rich or whatever, I just say sure you're here, however much you need. Just pay it back. But with this also comes a lot of you're so lucky, making that much money. If only I could make that much. Anyway, so last month I got a huge promotion at my work, essentially manager of my particular branch, and with it came a huge paycheck raise. Larger than honestly anything I could have hoped for. And well, now that I'm actually making however much my friends assumed I was making, I'm just wondering if I would be an asshole if the next time someone asks. I say so I was actually working hard just like you guys as well. I wasn't really crazy lucky like everybody was thinking. I know I made my metaphorical bed when I decided to pretend I had made something of myself even when I hadn't, but it's not like I'm excited to be forever labeled as the guy that got lucky when he was right out of high school with an awesome job, when I believe I've worked hard and paid my fair share of dues. I'm very sorry if I come across as an ass, but I'd appreciate any advice. What should I do or say? Edit, I now work at a tech retail store. I say so I was actually working hard just like you guys as well. I wasn't really crazy lucky like everybody was thinking. No. You say, hey guys, I'm embarrassed to admit this but I had a change of heart about getting my law degree and consequently I was laid off over a year ago. I've been lying to you about where I worked because I was afraid that you would think less of me if I were to admit that I was laid off. I hope you can forgive me for being deceptive. I think you might be overestimating how much other people were thinking about you. You seem to think everyone from high school is going around thinking about how lucky you were and that you needed to hide this big secret when it actually sounds like you didn't get on that well in a job and people occasionally made remarks about your job in conversation. I'm inclined to think just tell them you have a new job, be honest about how much it is and leave the slightly odd history about lying in the past. Also, by lying you sort of did yourself out of the chance to celebrate, which sucks for you, but it's your own fault, and bringing up it now probably isn't going to leave them thinking what a hard worker. Does it really matter? People change careers all the time. You missed something in your story. Where are you working now? Edited, thank you. I work at a tech retail store. It's not as lavish or impactful to society as I envisioned my mid-twenties career to be when I was graduating high school, but it's something now at least thanks to the promotion. Yeah, you made your metaphorical bed. You wanted to avoid embarrassment and wounded pride by being laid off so you lied by omission. You don't get to have their misplaced esteem for the job you previously lost, and now get credit for being a scrappy underdog who made it. Honestly none of them were spending a lot of time thinking about your job back in the day, you just made it weird because of your pride. Just move on and next time your job comes up tell them you made a career change and are really happy with what you're doing.